Good morning, everyone. I'm Ann here from Ann Makes. Welcome to this channel. And if you would like to subscribe because you haven't already, please do so by hitting the subscribe button below. And I also have a blog at annmakes.blogspot.com where I share a lot of crafting DIYs, how to's. I feature uh, all sorts of tips and tricks. And there are links to the site, other sites where I publish uh, other projects, a lot of project tutorials, how to's, and DIYs for different companies in the crafting industry. This morning, I would like to share with you some happy mail that I received. I got this wonderful package from Cricut. And as you may already know, I love my Cricuts and I do a lot of work with them. And I got some more products, so I will be able to continue making some projects. So the first thing I'm going to show you is something that I should have gotten a long time ago and I'm really glad that I have it now. I got the magnetic cutting mat for the cuddle bug. This will make my life so much easier when I am using those thin metallic dies. I will be able to keep the dies from moving around when I make that like sandwich when I layer the other plates over it to pass through the cuddle bug. This will make sure my dies do not move around on me. <laughs> so this is great. Uh, I highly recommend getting a magnetic pad for your own cuddle bug die cutting machine. I also received this weeding tool set weeding tool set uh, this is the kind of weeding i like to do it's not the same as the weeding i gotta do in my garden oh but uh, look at this kind of scary looking when i first saw it, I was like oh this reminds me of the dentist but uh now this is much friendlier than the dentist this is exactly for what it shows at the back of the card it is for weeding Picking up all those little pieces when you're die cutting and you have all those extra little pieces that are kind of stuck on your mat, especially if you're using the Cricut uh, cutting mat, the sticky mats to go through the Cricut machine. Uh, this is excellent, but it's also great when you have dies and you need to punch out the little, little pieces that are stuck and they're just like difficult to get out. So uh, there's... I will be using this with my cuddle bug and of course with my Cricut Explore Air 2. Speaking of dies for the cuddle bug, this is the manual die cutting machine, of course, that I'm referring to. I received this lovely die. It is the Holly Sprig. It is an Anna Griffin design and I just think it is very lovely. I apologize for the glare of the packaging there, but uh, I will be able to cut out some beautiful sprigs of holly, which is perfect to make some beautiful Christmas or holiday decorations and even any type of natural or plant uh, deco flowery decoration. I also got this package of craft board sampler. Now this stuff is amazing to use in the Cricut Explorer, the Maker, uh, if you're so lucky to have one of those. I don't have one yet, but I hope to get one soon. And even in the cuddle bug. So it's like, it's very thick and it comes in a variety of colors. So there is this white and there is this craft color and there is i'm trying to get to it the black now this stuff is really sturdy and strong and it is great for making some uh paper craft projects that require a little bit more rigidity uh, than just plain uh, cardstock so you can basically make like little 3d figurines that will stand up in boxes for example other thing 
I received is this felt carousel sampler with all these gorgeous colors in it. This felt has a stiffness to it, which makes it so much easier to cut through with your Cricut Explore machines or the Cricut Maker. The blade will cut through this very nicely and you can basically die cut anything you want with this. The other product I have, oh this is so pretty. This is a piece of leather, metallic leather in rose gold which is a color I absolutely love. It is a nice piece of leather, rose gold. It's very nice, very thick. Now this uh, you can cut with your Cricut Explore Air and your Cuddle Bug as well. You may have to pass it through a couple times, depending on the dye that you're using and the pressure and, you know, what you're cutting. Uh, but this works beautifully as well with the new Cricut Maker. So it's just, with the right mat in the right setting in the right blade, you can cut any of these materials with most of the Cricut uh, machines. The Cricut electronic machines. Here's another package of felt that they sent me. This one is the felt summer sky sampler. I love these colors. The first set I showed you like this is mostly like these primary colors I would call them. And this one I would call these more, like, more natural. So that's why it's called the felt summer sky. And these colors are so luscious and rich. And again, it is a very easy felt to cut through with the uh, Cricut line of machines. And that is that for my Happy Mail from Cricut today. I look forward to using many of these products to make some lovely crafts. I am planning on making crafts for Christmas especially. So uh, stay tuned for that and please check out my blog for further project tutorials and uh, more detailed instructions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little Happy Mail uh, video. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, and share and I'll see you after my next Happy Mail or haul video or DIY. <laughs> Bye!